I'm Zena, Warthog Princess, and welcome to part three of a four-part backpack review. Thanks to Tara for requesting the backpack review. Part one was purse backpacks, or the small size category. We skipped right over the medium, and part two was actually large cotton backpacks. One thing I forgot to mention on that review was the difference between the names. Vera has gone through a transition over the last few years. They had campus backpacks, then they had also a tech backpack. They were two separate things. Then they came out with a campus tech backpack, and now it's just all the campus backpack again, but includes the tech piece. So if there's any confusion on that, that explains probably a good bit of why that is. Anyhow, moving on to this next group. The third group is Lighten Up. It is sort of, not odds and ends, but sort of specialty backpacks in the Lighten Up group. The first one is the Lighten Up Drawstring Backpack. This particular style did also come out in a cotton formulation, but I do not have any of those. I just have the Lighten Up version, which is actually great for me. I like this backpack. This particular one has been all around um, cruising with me, went down to the Caribbean and we went scuba diving and whatnot. Anyway, great bag for all of that because it is water resistant. It held up really well. Honestly, if you didn't know what I just told you, you would think this is brand new with tags. But anyway, it's not. It is a great backpack. So first thing is the closure. Beautiful pattern. You get a lot of the view of it. You open it up. It has a plastic clip that clips in to close it. Here's the other part of it right here. So it, it, it's a nice, oops, you gotta get it lined up. Snap closure, and it's pretty robust plastic actually. It's not chintzy at all. So that's your closure for the top. It's nice because when you have the backpack quite loaded, you can see that the flap is not long enough to come over and down, but it at least is secure over the, the drawstring portion. The drawstring itself is very smooth. It's a nice, robust cord, kind of like the parachute cord, if you're familiar with that kind of cord. It slides really well with the metal grommets on the lighten up material. Really easy to close and open. And it has a push button slide that really, really holds it well. And then I just tuck the excess string into the bag and then close the top. Anyhow, so that's the main part of the bag. It is quite large. You can see on the bottom here, which is, I would say, pseudo semi-rigid. So like some of the other bags, it's got some construction in there to make it more robust. In this case, it's like a thin padding, kind of like the tech pouches on the backpacks. Um, but it is, you know, bendable and whatnot, but it does give it some structure to the bottom of the bag, which for a slouchy bag like this is actually very nice. All right, so that's the bottom. The front of the bag has the nice gear logo here. The pull tabs on the zippers are the rubber. And this zipper is actually a plastic zipper. It's kind of like those heavy duty plastic ones. And actually I like that it's this color. It's almost like a metallic-y looking silver. It's not actually metallic, but sort of like a metallic gray. But it works really well. It's really smooth. It's been very reliable up till now. Inside this pocket, there is some organization, and Vera was kind enough to line the top of it with this trim so that even black on black, you can see the pockets. You've got a big slip and three pen slips, and this is actually a pretty good size pocket. It does go all the way to the bottom and all the way side to side on this bag. Inside the main pouch, you have another zip pocket. Again, you have that nice trim to show you exactly where it is and also coordinates nicely with the outside. So even though it's a plain nylon wipeable backpack, you still have a pop of color inside, which is nice. So there's your pocket. Again, it's pretty large, not quite to the bottom. It's about two thirds of the way down, um, but it zips up nicely again with that same rubber zipper pull. Okay, so on the back of the backpack, you have another zip pocket. Again, it's quite large. This is where your tech would go. It's pretty wide opening. It's plenty big for a big tablet. Like I have the iPad Pro in the 12.9s. 
plenty big for that. It is padded on both sides. So even though the zipper doesn't come around, it does open plenty big to use that. Um, and since it's not that ugly metal, metal zipper, it doesn't scratch things on the way through. So that's nice. Of course, I've got my luggage tag. And this backpack does not have a trolley sleeve. That's probably really the only thing on this bag that I would change. I really like this bag quite a lot and gets a lot of use when traveling. All right. The next bag is the Lighten Up Journey Backpack. Another great travel bag. Um, and starting where we left off with the other one, this one does have a trolley sleeve, which for a big backpack like this, I would certainly hope. But if you look at it, it's not very wide. So ideally, I think it should come like to the outside of where this seam comes in because that really doesn't fit well on the luggage handles. It's just too narrow. So unless you want to fight with it the whole time, which is not really practical, that's something I would change. All right, so starting with the front, um, several things. This is different than any of the other backpacks. I mean, the material is the same. It is a nice high quality light nut material. It does have side pockets, which I forgot to mention. Let me back it up real quick. On this one, it does have side slip pockets and they are quite large and loose and there's no elastic, but the pull over here is elastic and it does have a push cinch. So you can really use these for quite a lot of things. And as you can see, the water bottle fits easily into that pocket and then you can cinch it down. You could, if you're worried, even kind of loop that through in and on itself so that you would have a little bit of an extra security thing in case that fell out. Not necessary, but just a little something you could if you wanted. We'll leave that out. Anyway, so that's the water bottle. The water bottle also, of course, fits pretty nicely in this one. This one is not cinch, but it does have elastic at the top, so it grabs onto that pretty good. It fits pretty well in there. I have not used this backpack, but I think that would be fine. Yeah, open it up there. All right, so inside of this one, you have a plain blue nylon background. You have one slip pocket in this pocket with the grommet going to the back. So I assume this is where your charging pack or your phone, whichever side of things you want to put what. And then the rest of the pocket is just open. It is a large pocket. It goes all the way down to the bottom of the bag. The zipper is recessed. I kind of would rather just have it straight on the front because the recessed zipper, I mean, it's not really a secret because the, the zipper pulls are these ropes and it sticks out anyway, whatever. On that note, these ropes on my berry burst when I use that backpack, they, they come untied a lot. Um, this one seems like it's more tightly tied in a slightly different material, but anyways, not my preference for zipper pulls, to be honest, they work. Anyway, so then you open up the first compartment. There are two large compartments. This would be the first of them. It has two pen slips, two big slips, and a nice deep pocket all the way down. On the, the flat side of it, it does have a nice mesh zipper pocket. And then inside of that pocket is where your grommet to the front is. So kind of a little different. All right. Next, you have on top of the bag, you have this sunglass area. So inside of here, you have this nice, again, it comes out. You have this soft, like microfiber lined bin that just Velcros right into place here. And you can put your sunglasses inside of that and it's pretty robust. So it will protect them pretty well, even if they're not in any kind of a case, that's what it's designed for. So you got that. But if you take that out, you have a whole decent size pouch here that you can put any number of things up there. Even if you have like your other styles of Vera sunglass cases, they're pretty well protected in there already. And then you have it for on the go, just fits nicely. You can actually fit two of these rigid magnetic ones. You can also easily fit the magnetic, oops, sorry, <laughs> the magnetic and a clamshell reader's case can both fit in there together. 
I'll show you that. It fit in there pretty nicely and it closes without issue. I won't zip it, but. All right, so you have those. And then if you have any of the older style clamshell cases from Vera, these are pretty large actually. The newer ones of these are still fairly large, but not quite as thick as this. But even the biggest one that I have easily fits well within that and it closes up no problem at all. So lots of options for that sun, sun glass case area um, or not use the glasses at all. So there you go. Put that back in there and zip it up. Okay, so we talked about the front pocket. All these big pockets are two zipper pulls, so one to each side, and they're nice smooth zippers. So this area, you do lose that space at the top, but it's accounted for. Two big mesh slips on the back here, and a very cavernous main pocket. The only caveat is this backpack has lots of nifty pieces and parts, and one of them is this bottom compartment here. It's, it's marketed as like a shoe space. It does have vent holes and it is a pretty robust lining. Um, it's all black, but it's, it's pretty dense and would definitely keep things wet or smelly from getting into the rest of your backpack. The only caveat to that is on this side, whatever you put in there takes away from your storage in the main compartment. I'll try and let you see this. Because inside, that compartment comes up into the main compartment. I don't know how well you can see that. So it's a trade-off. If your stuff is here, then you lose the space on this side. If you put it here, it pushes out the back of that. So it's shared space between the two, but basically has the liner between them. All right. Then, flipping it to the back compartment, you do have a tech space. It is padded on both sides, very nice. It does not come all the way around like most of the backpacks. It's just the one-sided zip. No problem at all with that. Totally makes sense for this bag. You also have a nice small pocket here, and it's not really small at all. It's the entire width of the backpack, about the width of my hand slightly spread. So your phone and wallet, anything can go in there that you desire, and it zips up nicely. Uh, we talked already about the trolley sleeve, but because this is an extra large backpack, it does have that cross chest strap. This is the same type of clip that was on the, what was it? Oh my goodness. One of the other backpacks, I think it was the extra large campus backpack in the butterfly flutter in the last review. But anyway, it was kind of a chintzy clip. This one is bigger and more robust and definitely better quality strap. So that's good. Nice change with that. This back is very nicely padded, sort of double padded, sort of padding for your tech space and then padding for you. And the outer padding is softer. Actually, I really like that aspect of it. And multifunctional back space here it has a slip area in the top. You can get into that whole colored area. The purpose is though, you can disconnect the straps, tuck those in there, and then use this more like a soft-sided suitcase if that's your desire. So let's put both straps in there. Now, don't put any small things in this so-called slip pocket because it is open down here at the bottom and I think that's just so these can slide in there as well. But if you put coins or something in there, they're just gonna fall right out these holes on the bottom of that section. So all the straps are tucked in. We zip up the main compartment here. And now we're ready to travel. You have the top handle, a side handle, or you can lift and carry like this, or for that matter, you can carry it upside down if that's what you wanna do. Lots and lots of options with this bag. Very, very utilitarian construct. I definitely like it a lot. I think really the big change I would make would be to widen that trolley sleeve space. So that's it, let me just strap these back on. 
This is one of the few backpacks, not that it matters, that I don't have a matching luggage tag for. So yeah, side note. It does also have these little strap swaths across both of the backpack straps. I'm not quite certain what you would use that for, but you could use it for any number of things I could think of, like your camelback hose or just clip things on there, your camera, whatever, lots of options. All right, moving on. The next one in this is the Lighten Up Convertible Travel Bag. This one is in Romantic Paisley. This is another, um, what I would call an extra large backpack. It is very utilitarian, much as the Journey, but completely different construct. This is something rather new in the lineup. It is in the current patterns as well. All right, so it's kind of three big things. You have a backpack, you have a duffel because you just flip this strap around the top, you can carry it as a duffel, or you see this front pouch right here. It can either be a zipper pocket with the slip behind for your backpack or your duffel, or you just simply zip that off and then remove your strap from the bag and that strap now becomes your crossbody strap for a nifty grab and go crossbody purse sort of built right into your bag. So if you haven't seen that before, that's kind of a nifty little twist to the backpack lineup. This part of the bag itself is just a zipper pocket, very simple, nothing on this side. On the back, there is a full width of the bag slip, um, slip pocket with the magnetic closure. So very simple, but very easy to use. So we'll just take that strap off zip this back onto the bag so you can see just how easy that is. Zips on around. And now it's part of your backpack again. All right, so going back to the backpack, we have zipper pocket up front, which is that purse. Behind that, you have the slip that's part of the purse, if you want to use that. And then you have the main slip behind the purse as well. Next, you have this front zippered pocket. It is the full length of this front compartment down to here and it does have a nice zipper closure, same string pull tabs on it. You open it up to the first of the two big compartments. This one, it does have a little lip to it so if you were packing it as a duffel for example, you can see that this area here stands up once you fill it. So kind of a nice little upper part of the suitcase if you will or big front pocket of the backpack that does zip all the way to the bottom so that you can open it up like that. And zip it up and it is a two pulls on it. So you go from both sides and you go to the main pocket. This one does not open all the way this way. Instead, it opens this way. So you have basically a soft sided suitcase this main compartment is pretty tall, or deep, if you will, and fairly wide. So this could hold quite a little bit. And then on the top, you have a mesh zipper all the way across this top section that you can use to hold your smaller things or just to keep things separate. So then you have that, you close that up. You got that. All right, so you can put your straps back on. Use this as your duffel or just a shoulder travel bag. Or you can go back to using it as a backpack. Yeah, there's my luggage tag. It does not have a trolley sleeve, which for a bag like this, there's definitely gonna be traveling, definitely carry-on size bag. Um, it's light enough, so I wouldn't even mind putting it on the floor but it doesn't have a trolley sleeve. So you gotta carry this heavy, big thing everywhere. And whether you're carrying it as a backpack or carrying it on your shoulder, that could wear on you when you have a long check through a big airport, but anyway. All right, so you can carry it up this way. Doesn't have a side handle there. Ooh, but secret pockets with here these days. There is a side pocket here. It's a magnetic closure and it has the duffel straps. There's one on both sides. So 
I totally didn't even realize that till just now. I should have, but there you go. So you can carry it more different ways. Um, or you can just use that pocket for quick access things. Nothing small because it would fall out, but it does have a magnetic closure. So like your big phone, it would probably stay in there. Yeah, cool. Good thing we're doing a review. <laughs> All right, so back to the backpack part. No trolley sleeve. Come on. I seriously would totally put the trolley sleeve on there. Big change I would recommend for the backpack. Like the Journey backpack, though, you can disconnect the straps, tuck them inside, carry it straight up as a duffel or a shoulder duffel. So does have a cross chest strap, and it does also have those same little loops, although these aren't quite as big of a space, but for whatever you want to use that for. Lots and lots of options with this bag. All right. And the last one in this section is the large, no, sorry, Lighten Up Essential Large Backpack. This is a factory style backpack. And again, starting where we left off, no trolley sleeve usually on the outlet versions for whatever reason. Do have luggage tag, nice straps. They don't disconnect like the convertible ones. Uh, nothing wrong with that. It is a, I would almost say that this is an extra large backpack when you look at the cotton ones with the campus or campus tech versus the outlet version. The outlet version is kind of like the extra large. Anyway, so this one's slightly bigger and you'll see when we get to the pockets, that's definitely the case. It does have the rubberized zipper pulls, front pocket, just a pocket, no organization in there. The bottom of this, it's actually, that's the whole width of the bag, but it does stand this way. The next pocket, this is where your organization comes in. You've got four pen pouches, big slip, and the clear ID slip. Then this is one zipper pull around. The next pocket is right here on the top. It's not quite a hidden zipper, but it is a smaller metallic zipper pull. You can kind of see that, that little thing. But it's just a pocket. You put your sunglasses, keys, phone, whatever you want, quick access on the top. And then into the main compartment, it is a double zip. You've got two slips on the front and then one big zipper on the back. It's about two thirds of the way down. My hand spread out, it's about that big. It is padded in the back because that is, of course, your tech space, which is pretty common in backpacks of this size and caliber. So that's padded on both sides and zips right up. It is a straight zip, not around the corner like some. But let's zip this up and look at some things on the outside. Okay, so the handle on top is a slightly different construction. It is padded and it is pretty robust, so it should hold up really well and you can carry the bag like that. Also, it does have quite large, um, I call them water sleeves or whatever, but the mesh, it is loose though, so things are gonna have a tendency to fall out or something like that unless they're much wider. So the good and the bad is it allows for wider carriage of things, but smaller, regular size things are just easy. So. So trade-off, either way. So nice backpack, and this brings us to the end of this section. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again for part four.